My name is Isaac Valentin and I work with my co-coordinator, uh, Rihanna Overholster, and uh, we're running this year's Real Life for Life. I was told that when I started it would be the equivalent of a part-time job, and it has proven to be that. Hi, my name is Julie Stapleton. I'm a teacher at Grimsby Secondary School, and I am the teacher advisor for this year's Relay for Life. Relay for Life is a 12-hour uh, overnight event held by the students in the Canadian Cancer Society. In which students participate in teams of 10. And basically, it's a community event, and we try and raise as much money as we can. The teams are encouraged to raise at least $1,000. I'd like to raise a lot of money and a lot of awareness in our community, because Grimsby is a small town. Word travels fast, and it'd be really good for this to reach kind of the far corners. Okay, I'm Dave Barnes. I'm the Relay for Life Youth Program Coordinator for Southern and Northern Ontario. We organize or help to coordinate uh, over 100 events each year. Grimsby Secondary has done an amazing job with their relays. Um, last year they raised almost $80,000. Uh, our goal this year is $2.5 million across, uh, across Ontario with roughly 100 schools. Here in Grimsby is a big part of that. Hello, my name's Kenny, or Okenwa, but people call me Kenny. Um, the way I'm contributing to Relay is mostly through my hair. We uh, recently held a, a vote fro or no, and people could pay in each ballot to see me either get shaved or for me to keep my fro. So we raised about close to $600 with that, and um, I got to keep it, <laughs> fro one, so, and I'm going to get my hair shaved at actual Relay, I'm going to see if I can raise even more money there. I thought it was uh, very interesting when uh, the money raised to keep the fro beat out the money to shave it. Behind the scenes is more or less just uh, we have a weekly meeting and then we also have poster parties where we make all the posters that go around the school. It is a student run event so we have coordinators in the school and we also have uh, committee members who are the ones that organize um, the night itself. It, there, there's about 40 people and we dedicate quite a bit of time every week to kind of pushing this forward and getting closer to the day of. In order to introduce Relay for Life to the school, we have what is called a Relay Rally. This is a full period assembly in which um, the committee um, has organized um, different information um, and then during that time we had the rest of our crew um, running around the school um, putting up posters so that uh, students would have information um, at their fingertips. Hmm. I've seen the way cancer affects people. It's a really scary and sad thing all in the same time and it would just be something that the world could do without. My mother was diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease when she was 21 years old. Nine years ago my, uh, my wife was actually diagnosed with Hodgkin's and we were five months pregnant at the time. She has cancer um, in her liver, on her hip, in her ribs, on her brain skull. Um, she has lymph node cancer, she's had both her breasts removed. Um, so she's really had a tough battle with cancer. And it was one of those things that you really have to you know, look at your life and say, you know, what's going on? Why, why is this happening? It's amazing the transformation that goes through a school when you have an event like this one. Basically there's a lot of people that are really excited about it and seeing their excitement and seeing the past year's results really motivates me. And uh, I think it's a really great opportunity for the students um, to join together as a group and, and make a difference. I was just one kid who was or was not going to shave his head. <laughs> I'm just one coordinator. Each student that is involved in Relay for Life and has um, decided to go out and raise funds for Relay really does make a difference. GSS Relay for Life is really uh, run by every single student at GSS.